Yeah. Okay. I can I can totally see that the uh turn the audio mixer that the odd that the fan audio is consistently bleeding through. Just a just a, just a honey, just a touch. Just a touch. So No. Oh, whatever. It's not like it's gonna matter too much because there's the game audio, there's me talking, there's whatever. Oh. That's right. We had to, we ended off on Huff and Puff, not the Peach Intermission. So I could also name this double the Peach Intermissions. But I actually thought about that, then the dogs start barking right, right as I start streaming. You know what? Quality. I hope you all enjoy. We're honestly about to go into the best peach section, which also, uh, additionally, is uh, mm, the last one. So it's inherently the best. But this one that you actually do things, so that's pretty fun. Because if you remember last time, we got Kablam! We got a sneaky parasol. Yeah. So I can just go and go kablam! Now I'm a Koopa Troll. And now they won't come and scream at me. <sighs> Let's go put this nonsense in. It's not here. It's not that one, I remember. I'm not that forgetful. Now we come in here. And because I won, I got a jam and jelly. I won the, I won the quiz last time. Now, the only thing that's really relevant, I'm just going to blaze through this. But yeah. Talk to this guy, you know, mm -hmm, I'm on patrol. Whatever. It's not like the specifics of this matters too much. But what I was going to say earlier, but before the dogs started barking, is I was actually going to name this one, uh, Double the Peach Sections. Or something like that. You know, something along the general lines. But, uh, I didn't want to have a false impression for people. Not so much for the fact that I'm lying, but for the fact that no one wants that. People, why would anyone want to watch a video about more peach intermissions? <laughs> That's just hot garbage. So here's uh, a little bit of information for people, or only for people who are, you know, right here, right now. Not any of you future people who may be watching this in the distant future of, uh, I don't know, tomorrow? I don't know, man. I don't know much beyond that. But... Yeah, I slept through my alarm this morning, so that's why there was no morning stream. I'm gonna make it up by having a stream tomorrow, another afternoon stream. So, I mean, if you're, like, alive for tomorrow. Oh, this dude's sleepy? Okay. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now I'm a clubber. And, uh... Yeah, we can't exactly leave. Because the door is locked. So that's fun. But, nah, whatever. This is the entirety of this speech intermission. It lets you, uh, fiddle around with the fact that you're not gonna be hunted after. But, you know. I think the only reason there's even one club up here is just because they needed someone else to, uh, turn into. I don't really understand the whole point of this speech intermission, but okay. I mean, it's clearly... Yeah, the, all of them are attempts to escape. I mean, obviously, but... Why would I... Why would I do this? I'm going deeper in. But I, I mean, I guess, but... Now, here's a bit more of another uh, fun question. So, this is a legitimate castle. This isn't, like, a dungeon or anything. This is just Peach's castle. So, it leads upstairs, and this is a hallway. So, alright, this is fine. This is gonna lead, bleed into this hallway. Like, that's where we met Peach at the beginning of the game. We haven't seen past this. So it leads upstairs into a hallway with a door at the end of it. The door leads to another hallway that goes straight through and leads to another door. And that leads to another set of stairs. Okay, where are the other rooms? And then it leads to another door that leads to the top of the castle. We don't get to see it because we're stopped here. But after that is like the... Uh, it winds up to the very, like, spire of the castle. My only question is, why did we need this much walk around? Why are there so many hallways? Why is this necessary? Hi there. Doing a fine job. Oh, thanks. You smell too nice? Wow, am I not allowed to, uh, take pride in my, uh, smell? My smelly smell? I don't smell nice, in case you guys are wondering. That's Peach. That's not me. I smell like sweat. Not even like fresh sweat. Fresh sweat that's been sitting out for a little while. That's nasty. 
Maybe... Maybe don't break into my house and try sniffing me to check. Because I could, you can at least, like, take my word for that one. I mean, I may be lying, but... Don't do it. It's not the best thing. Now we have timeout. That can stop, dudes. Uh, weirdly enough, stop seems to be, like, the worst status ailment. Because most enemies are immune to stop. People are either weak to dizzy or sleep. All in all of them do the same thing. I mean, at least Thousand Year Door actually made them unique status ailments. Sleep. Uh, sleep. Can be woken up. There's also freeze. I actually don't know if you can be frozen in this game. Yes, you can, I think. In this game, yeah, maybe. I know in Thousand Year Door you can as well. Alright, let me leave. Now, we're gonna go straight into that there, Mr. Sewer. And, uh, try to keep making progress, huh? We're on Chapter 7. We're getting there. We're near the end. Faint, my chin is so itchy. It's also hairy. I got a beard, son. There's a reason for these things. Oh, ho, 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 hello! Another damage dodge, you say? Now, if I block, if I equip that, if I block, I'll take six less damage. Oh, yeah. Are my badges still hot garbage? Do I have that? Yeah, that defend plus, and then... That happy flower. What do I want instead? I got a damage dodge still. Ah. Uh, okay, my, my hair is actually like, this is like affecting my neck. Not my chin, it's bleeding down. I don't want to be a neck beard. You stay away from their hair. It's not where you go. There's my mega... Oh, oh that's the wrong button. That's the... That's the definitive wrong button. Get a power jump, because I mean, I guess... Now I got two more. I'm gonna put it on. And you got some happy flowers, some happy hearts. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you know what we're gonna put it on? Another damage dodge. I think that's the play. Yeah, at least for now. Here. Real fast, let me just get rid of my own, uh, Discord notification, like I've mentioned before. Where my good old friend, the... My Discord... Likes to notify people when I'm streaming. Useful. Uh, it tells me when I'm streaming. Not so useful. Did I save? Probably. But even then, so instead of just wasting my time backtracking to go check, I was Minty, Igor, and Coover. I don't care. Yes, I do care, actually. Because one of them is the trading side quest, and we're almost done with it. So, uh, My inventory is pretty good. So I guess we're going to go do this. Minty. I believe I know where that is. That's either this kid down here, or one of the ladies. Is it you? I don't know. How's your face? It's not them. Maybe it's you. I don't know. It's not you. So it is the lady, I think. You think? I, I'm, I'm, my memory's spotty of this one. It's not like I know the name of every single rando NPC. Yes, my pathing has to be weird, because I'm having fun with it. Maybe it's... Maybe, is it you, maybe? You're like a unique person. Oh, it is! It is her! This is not who I was thinking of. Alright, cool. Alright, that's the one. Oh, that's nice. Uh, where's my... There it is. Now, where I believe, yeah, the Coover is the important one. But we're going to Igor and Boo's shop first. Ugh. What actually, what challenge set are we on? Did we do uh, the other one? I don't think so. Nyah, we gotta do chapter five. Oh, uh, jeez. So where chapter three is normally my favorite chapter, but promotes kind of made it rough. I think my favorite chapter is either chapter 4 or this one, chapter 7, then followed by chapter 6. Chapter 6 has some stickly bits that I've already talked about. I don't actually know where I'm going to go to the pipe that I want. It's not this way, I don't think. This is just, like, wrong. Yeah, yeah, this is just all wrong. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Why well, you guys gotta hurt me like this, huh? It's not like any of you matter. 
Yeah, you don't even give me any star points, so this is actually just a waste of my time. I wanted to run, but okay. Oh, that's right, you can't run away with them. It's just like... Thousand Year Door! Where are you? You make my life so much easier. Is it down here? Yep! Yes, it is! I remember! Oh, that's not right. Remember this from way back when? Hey, hey, hey! This isn't where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the, uh, shop. But, multi-bonk, mega-bomb, air raid. Air raid's pretty good. Yeah, sure. I already know where the last two are. They're in the, uh, Chapter 7 area, so... Don't gotta worry about them too much. Alright. Let's get a move on. What is the... Ooh, actually, no. No, I remember now. It's not this way. It's the wrong way. It is just straight down the... Actually, wait, no. Yeah, Boo Shop first. Boo Shop first. Because the Koopa Village is the trading side quest one. Oh, get, get, get on the pipe, Mario. You're a plumber. You know how to do this. You don't need me to baby you. You have more of the experience of this than I do. So calm down there, bro. Alright. Knowing my luck, they're going to send me back here with the trading side quest. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah, fun is used very loosely in uh, that term. Shut your face. There you go. How am I going to make delivering letters interesting? You know, you know how I'm not going to do it? Not going to happen. Gusty Gulch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just around the corner. Can't, can't they just come here? <laughs> it's a, val a valid question. It's, it's Gusty Gulch. It's literally just like right there. And back out we go. Yeah, they're just star pieces for delivering letters, but I mean, they're effectively free star pieces. You just kind of got to go get them, you know? I need to stop messing with my beard, because every time I do, it like shifts, and that upsets my neck. No. Bad. Maybe I need to shave. But I like my beard, though. I like it a lot. Okay, now we're gonna come back up here. I'm I'm gonna say if there's any chapter that's gonna be rough with finishing in time, it's gonna be this one. Considering we gotta do all of these, we gotta do the two uh challenges. This one's gonna be similar to Huff and Puff, where we're gonna we're gonna be right down to the wire, if anything. It's this guy. Oh, he just mentioned Kent C. Koopa. That is one of the super bosses. Uh, I guess super boss isn't the right term. It's an optional boss. Uh, Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He mostly could be hanging out in front of the Toad House. He wears a blue turban. Okay. In front of the Toad House, blue turban. Okie doke. Well, so where's Chuck Quizmo? He can appear in any of the towns. Any of them. I don't know the specifics. I think he just there's just a chance of him just showing up randomly. I don't think he's in like a set town and you gotta go like hunt him down. I think he just has a chance to just appear. I believe that's how it works. Because I distinctly remember one time I just exited and entered a screen until he showed up. So, I'm like 99% sure that's the play. Blue Turban. There he is. Here is your nonsense, mystery. Alright. Oh, or Koopa Village. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, Toad Town Misty. Who's there? One of the three. Yep, it's one of the three ladies. It's the one I had uh, initially thought of. She's one of the ones in front of the dojo. The dojo's another like optional boss. That's actually one of the optional super bosses, technically. It doesn't start off like that. Like I could go like clean out a bunch of the dojo right now, but we're gonna save that all for that bonus video of optional content. And again, with the one stipulation that the vulture is technically optional. But he's not going to be there. Just screw him. Anything of note here? Oh, super smash charge. That's pretty alright. If anything super jump charge would be crazier. But if you'll remember, I didn't grab that. Quality, huh? Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Well, I, uh... I struck out right there.
All right. Okay. Uh, dry, dry outpost. Okay. Uh, where am I delivering this to? Oh, he's the he is he's the shopkeeper. Okay, he literally just. All right. I guess it checks out. I can get the super jump charge right now if I wanted to. That may be the kind of thing I do off screen because once we uh, beat the game, I'm gonna start doing stuff off screen. Just to, just to really like make like make everything flow better because you don't want me to go around and do all this nonsense of uh, it's because it's just gonna be filler content. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, none of that. I in fact want you to take my thingy. Take my thingle thangle. There we go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Alright. Lemons, limes. Mmm. Ooh, lemons and limes. Uh. Just like I said, I need to go back to Boo's Mansion. I feel like I'm being spited right now. Any Chuck Quizmo? No? Okay. He can also appear in the next two cities, because we're not done yet. We haven't seen him all. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, you can uh, go back down a pipe if you just walk to the side of it, jump, and like maneuver yourself properly. It's not crazy hard. It's harder in Thousand Year Door, but, in, but you can still do it in that game, so you can see a couple messages saying, like, hey, you can't enter this pipe from this way, because there's supposed to be one-way pipes. And I think it's just this guy. Frankie! Here you go. I just like to skim what the letters are all about. Toad Dainty. It's a little kid. Yeah. He's the kid, like I tried to check out. I believe this is one of the last ones, because I know Dainty is going to send me to ch a Chapter 7 area. Actually, no. He's going to send me to uh, Yoshi's Island. No, not Yoshi's Island. It's uh, Lava Lava Island. It's the Yoshi Island, but it's not Yoshi's Island. Because there's, there's a lot of other things on that island. Mainly Lava, considering what we did, so... I guess the namesake makes sense now. Come here, little kiddo. Is it you? Is it? Yes, it is! Mmm, <laughs> side quest, my favorite! Honda Mansion. Wow, wow, exciting. Uh, yeah, Yoshi Kid from Yoshi Village. Red Yoshi Kid, alright. And then, if I remember correctly, Yoshi Kid's gonna send me back to this kid, and then they're gonna send me to the final kid over in, uh, Chapter 7 land. You know, technically not even in Chapter 7, so I'm gonna... I've been trying to hold my tongue on the specifics of that one. Because we don't know yet. And yes, I am in fact saving the final form of the Electro Blooper for, uh, the bonus video. Bonus video. Alright. Oh, this is a little bit tedious. Swap back to Pear. So, swap from Pear Carry to Sushi. Cross that little body of water. Swap back to Pear Carry. Give him a stoop letter. Go back to Sushi. Okay. It's all just garbage. Okay. Yeah. I just give it back to the kid. Alright, fantastic. Back we go. Ah, jeez. Have, have I done the thing over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. Okay, never mind. Take me across this magical, magical body of water. I think, uh... Peach started start trying to clean out her sewers. There's a lot of garbage down here. Any Goombas and crap? It's just, there's just a lot of nonsense going on down there. I 
All right, kiddo, here you go. Oh, I, oh, I don't have fair carry out. Oopsie! Thanks, Sushi, you're very useful. Glad this isn't in Thousand Year Door. Take your stupid letter and get out of my face. There you go. And the old postman, that's for sure. Yeah, because Mario's fast, son. He's all he's known for going fast. Don't you know that? Uncle T Frosty in Starborn Valley. There we go. Yep. Alright. That's all. Okay. I think the only thing left we have to do is, uh... Well... I guess, yeah, let's just do the challenges. We can just get it out of the way. I'm more than... I'm more than prepared enough for these things. Chapter 5 and Chapter 6, just because, uh... I think I lost last time. I usually don't do them when I lose, is the thing. I should've put on Zap Tap. Eh, maybe. At least now I got Mega Quake for this. Did I have Mega Quake before? I don't remember. Maybe. I'm not getting any star points. Yeah, I waited too long to do this. It would've been more efficient to do this earlier. Now we're just kind of wasting some- Eh! With one addendum. This is only the first round. The first couple rounds. The first enemies in an area always give a little bit less star points. There we go. Now we go to what? Okie doke. Uh, here, I'm going to use a refresh just as a... Uh, t efficient usage of time, I guess I'll put it as. Considering this dude's just going to heal, so... Might as well take the time to up my FP. Also, can get me a more lucky flower or happy flower prox. Which is all good things. And on then it also, even more so, gives me another turn to uh, restore my star juice. Yep, there's that happy flower again. So happy flower proc twice. So I think we just got 9 FP back for free. And the cost of just under a full bar, because we got to turn to resto restoration the thing. In. Oh man, aren't you guys scary? I'm gonna do the same song and dance. Except it depends if I can block these dudes. I never, I never actually fought these dudes. Actually, yes, I did once because it was an accident. But yeah. Ow. Yeah, I was gonna say, everything here poisons, so I'm just gonna bank on this dude hitting me, then poisoning, so I'm just gonna use Refresh anyway. And if I had blocked the thing, well, eh, what can you do? I saved the star meter. It all works. Get out. And there's at least one benefit to Watt's, uh, missed action command. That is, like, the fastest attack in the game. If, you're, if you want to just pump out one number, but with the shortest animation, I mean, hey, there you go. And hey, now, oh, never mind. I was going to say, hey, it's the same song and dance as before, except now I get to murder them harder thanks to Merly. I was just going to do ten. Yep. I don't need that much power. Now that is going a little too far that time. Uh-huh. That's for sure. Gotta make sure my mic's not muted. Because if it's muted, there will be no, uh, voice. And if there's no voice, well, then... I don't know, some people would probably be happy about that, now that I think about it. Uh, I want to see something. How mu how effective is this going to be against them? These guys are like plants, so... Yeah, it's only six. So, it was not worth it, but, uh, whatever. Oh, well. Yeah, now I'm getting that, uh, them good old star points. Ow. Ow, again. 
I like we have an eloquent solution to this. Oh, fire shell also costs less, but at least there's that. So we got two fire shells out, and instead of uh, two mega quakes, mega quake costs seven, fire shell costs six. So, I mean, it, yeah, it works. So getting all this free regen, it's a good time. Almost messed that one up real bad. Uh huh, uh huh. Hello, B Blang. Who am I talking to? Myself, obviously. Because I'm a crazy person. That is the standard answer. I could say I'm talking to my inner demons. Does that make you happy? That's also correct. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Uh, lava bubbles suck, that's for sure. I think I'm just going to Star Storm and hope Power Shell kills, which I know it won't, but I want to believe. That's for sure. Man, I hate Lava Bubbles, because they're fire dudes, so I can't do physical contact or and have Bo kill them. They're also not on the ground, so I can't kill them. <sighs> they're just very obnoxious enemies. Uh, do not us. Uh... What? I completely forgot the word I was actually going for that time. That wasn't- that's not even a thing where I could just, like, stall out and, like, wait to hear about that one. I completely forgot the word I was going for. It's like, I can't... Uh, no idea what I was gonna say. I lost it completely. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bad sentence. This is, this this is already going bad. We we're gonna have to run that one back. We're already starting off on a bad note. Do I smoke weed? Uh, no. You can also call me not fun. So there you go. My brother does at the very least. I mean, that's relevant information for you. But that's the best you're gonna get out of me, Sonny. Alright, well, I don't have enough FP to super murder them with a good old fire shell, so... Fuck. I'll just murder him in the face, then. Hey, man, why would I smoke meat, weed when I can play video games for no one on the internet? <laughs> That's my kind of high. <laughs> I mean, it's not like this is, uh, boring. If uh, That's a dirty lie. It is, in fact, very boring. I'm doing the challenge run. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is the last fight I've got to deal with before all this bullshit's done with. Because I gain a level on the next one. You can say that all you want, but I also uh, care very little. But whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. I mean... Yeah. And, uh, while we're talking about this, I'm currently getting my ass kicked. Oh my god, I can't block anything! Oh, please don't be doing this. You son of a bitch. Don't you be trying to buff no chain chomp. Chain chomps are buff enough. If you're, like, made of iron, I think you're swole enough. You do not need help. How much muscle would you need to generate to move your own body? No, no buffing the lava bubbles either. That is also unacceptable. I would totally kill this Magic Koopa for being a degenerate scumfuck bastard, but you know, I'm actually gonna do that now that I think about it. I actually changed my mind right on the fly because this will actually give me more star points, and more star points mean I'm actually going to level up at this encounter instead of the next one. Oh, you son. Of Stop doing that shit right fucking now. You know, I would have been a little bit upset if Merle had procced there. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I can still kill this dude on this turn. No, we're fine. Never mind. I'm now upset that Merle didn't proc there. 
So it didn't matter what Merle did. I was going to be mad about it. Now yeah, I'll take 12 to the face. Don't worry. Your reckoning is coming now. You shall feel my wrath. And hey, you know what? Your essence is delicious. Oh, what do I want? HP or FP? Obviously neither, because BP is the only correct answer. You could say that was a rough round, Mr. Boo Man, but I'm the one ending the round at full HP, so you're lying to my fucking face. Alright, there we go. You give me any star points? Not anymore, I've leveled up too much. Time to just start hardline murdering everything. Uh, yeah, just fan smack, because fuck it, I'm gonna get a full heal after this anyway. I almost fucked that one up. Magikoop is gonna run away. We're gonna end the challenge. Alright, fantastic. <sighs> Merly. I don't think it's attacking. Oh shit, he's running. A better better guard up. Better pull up that fucking guard, huh? Oh, fantastic. Oh, an ultra shroom. Okay, that one's actually pretty nice. I need to store this stupid Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jellies I got going on right now. It's not like I need to pop the damn things. Then again, that's the case for most of the game. When I was doing my 100% run, I actually kind of got close to having 50 of either HP or FP. I think I had like 45 HP and 50 FP. But that's about it. Like, even then, and I was completely and utterly overleveled. And like a fundamental degree at that point. But I still wasn't high enough on a single stat to actually use a Jam and Jelly or Ultra Mushroom, and it wasn't just a full heal. If I wanted to exacerbate the problem further, I could have equipped Medicine Man and made Ultra Shrooms heal for 75 HP, and that's even more ridiculous. Right, I'm just gonna level up, you know, like 17 times. I'm pulling that number out my ass if I'm even in the ballpark. Hey, good job, me. Quick math. I'm gonna cook one more hot shroom because that stupid ass challenge just made me waste one. And I don't appreciate your kind. Man, I don't know why Mario doesn't abuse hot shrooms in any of the future games. Because clearly, it, like, a basic mushroom's 5 HP. Why doesn't he just cook the damn thing? Do I need to save? No. I don't care. Alright. Let's finish the second... No, that's not right. There we go. Let's finish the second challenge run and be done with all of this nonsense. And then we'll get started on Chapter 7. Yes, it's taking a little while. That's because I failed to do Chapter 5 last time. I literally failed. I died, and that's why it wasn't completed. Actually, now that I... Th Wait, how much HP did they have? Yeah, using Power Shell would have been better than uh, Spiny Surge. Oh, well, I wasted some FP. Eh, what can you do? Eh. It's not like it matters. Okie doke, so here... Oh, this one. This is just cake. It's easy at this point. Oh, come on. Why are you like this? Lackluster! Ugh. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Uh... Death is encroaching. That's all I can say about this one. He's blocking these dudes is... Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? I don't even remember how to dodge this attack. Not one of the... Ah, oh, fuck, son of a... Not again with this! Why would they even do this attack? This is technically the weaker attack. Right, at least that wasn't too bad, comparatively. It's gonna get worse, though, so it's not like I'm out of the frying pan yet. I'm not even into the fire. I haven't even gotten out of the frying pan yet. We're still, uh, 
We're still cooking something fierce. I'm just gonna try to heal as much as I can, to be fair. Zaps don't play around, so whatever. Yeah, see? See, that's such a stronger attack. He just swung at me for 15, effectively. Where his other attack hits for 10 in instances of 2. If I had a defend plus, I would have done no damage. But, what can you do? Also, I just realized I'm an even bigger jackass, because I did not actually use the BP that I got from the last level. Which is the max BP. This is a bad game. Okay, oh, you guys are a little bit tankier than I'd like. Just club them in the face, and I don't actually do enough damage to kill you in one attack with a power shell or a, uh... <sighs> Spike Storm. Spiny Surge, that's what it's called. Spike Storm is, like, our, you know what, also technically a correct name, so at least there's that. I'm not completely wrong. I'm just wrong in what most people consider a s the wrong sense. You know. I'm wrong out of, in 49 out of 50 states. Oh, I def- Oh, that's not right. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, no, 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 no. No siri, Bob. I could have used a Watt to also hit him, but it doesn't matter. They both do five. I'll just refresh it. It's not like it matters. Alright, do your big old dumb lightning attack. There you go. Did you get it out of your system? Good. Now please die. Let's hope one of the happy things, Brox. Hey, ain't that convenient? You see how good, like, how, I guess it's called Heart Fanatic? I don't think it would be called Fanatic Heart. That doesn't sound right. Whatever. Oh, Merly, Merly, Merly! You know what? I'm okay with this one. This one's fine. It's, I still would have killed turn one anyway, but she clearly does not like spinies. That's okay. We accept all biases here. I don't have any particularly strong bias. I hate all enemies equally. Like dad magic. It can go burn for all I care. Alrighty then. More challenging fun times. Oh, you just starting, uh, charged? Wow, thanks, Mr. Uh, what are they called? Tough Puffs, that's it. They're Tough Puffs. I'll just kill the Crazy Daisy, because they're infinitely worse than a crazed Tough Puff. Plus, he's electrified, so that would hurt me anyway. Yeah. And you have to remember, I do have the double damage dodge, so I'm blocking for six. So that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Alright, and then we could just bow it up. Or I could blow it up with bow. Again, that, that just, then that just leads back into bow it up, but being a pun on blow. So, it's whatever. That one doesn't really work, because there wasn't a whole lot of explosions, but... Eh. There was at least an effort made on my part. It wasn't a good effort, but it was... At least, existent. Someone tried somewhere, and that's what matters. The end result may be hot garbage, but, you know, someone had some heart. Don't do that. You see? I said don't do that. Why do they never learn? Are you the heal? Okay, no, you're, you're an attack power-up. Okay. Uh, well, you get to die, then. I mean, hey, if you, uh, if you really want to die, fine, then. 
Magic Koopa sentenced you to death. I'm not the one who signed his death warrant. I'm just the one who put him in the executioner's chair. You flipped the switch on that one. You see how good Spiny Surge is? 4 FP for 4 damage every turn. I only used 12 FP that turn. That whole fight. Plus I had Happy Flower constantly proccing, so... Mm -hmm. Oh yes. And see, there it goes again. Those slow burn fights are even better for me, considering I just regen. Okay, how am I going to handle you? Well, like this. Don't even need to use BP. Well, would I need to use BP or FP? I could, it would get me both kills, but I don't need both kills. Because if I spiny surged, I could kill both the Magic Koopa and the Tough Buff on, the ne on this next turn. But I don't need to do that. You think you can just lag the game, making it harder for me to block? Haha! <laughs> You're... You're a son of a bitch is what you are. I should have spiny surged all along. I'm the fool now. If that actually works, this is going to give him his lightning attack again. This is the most six. Yeah. Well, the synergy on that one is nice. I'll at least... I'll give credit where credit's due. The electric charge magic Koopa with dudes who, when charged, can do a big attack is cheeky, and I like it. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot, huh? Alright, round nine. Oh, that's right. Welcome to the new feature of the Amazy Daisies. Amazy Daisy sings a haunting melody. Three turns remain. Ah, uh, okay. I guess, so I jump for 8 a turn. 8, 16, 24, yeah, I can kill. And then Merle is going to proc. The problem is, am I going to be able to block this? Because I'll die if I get hit by this. I forgot this was even a fight. So I'm jumping for 6, so yeah, that did actually proc properly. Okay, there's at least that. And I can send in Bow. It has defense. What? They gave this thing defense? Alright, time for the hardest attack to dodge in the game. Son of a bitch. I was just too slow. <sighs> On my second playthrough, I really abused life shrooms just to solve problems like that. Like, the Amazing Daisy's whole death song is a neat concept where you instantly die after three turns, but it will proc a life shroom, so. Rip. Oh, well. We'll just do chapter... What, what chapter are we on? Seven. That's the one. So, we now have 30 BP, which means we can't get any more. This is all we're going to have for the rest of the game. Ugh. Ah, jeez. So I know what's coming up. I don't even need to... I'm already going to have to unequip this damage dodge uh, sooner rather than later. So, alright, let's get to it. No use even loitering any longer. Because I know there's a bets and badges coming up, with which I'm going to want. Well, let's get a move on. 45 minutes later, let's actually get started on the chapter. I wasted a decent chunk of time by getting bodied, but eh, what can you do? How many star pieces do I have? 16? Not enough for anything I'd even remotely care about. Honestly, there's not a whole lot that they're offering anymore that I care too much about. Oh, that's right. These guys. My favorite. No good timing for them. It's just not possible. It's also just not possible for Bo to do two instas of damages. Instances, not instant instances. That's wrong. 
That's what we call incorrect, son. Boom, double. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, thanks. These enemies are actually in Thousand Year Door, and they're not this annoying. No, not, not nearly this bad. These are terrible. I hate them. They have an attack that's, like, impossible to dodge, which isn't too bad, but enemies that start intangible are so infuriating. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not one to get super mad at a game, generally. Oh, wow. All right, then. Cool. Yeah, I don't really get mad at a game. I'll get frustrated or upset, but not, like, properly, like, mad. Like, angry. Just give him a good old one, two, one, two. Hmm. Gotta hit them yawns, too. At least they only hit for six. And if they actually were in the base game, which they're not, they'd only be hitting for three, which, you know, is, too, is physically acceptable. There we go. Maybe she'd swing for two if you got it right on the line in between one and uh, three smacks. Who knows? It's a mystery to everyone that I really don't care to solve. All right. Oh. Wait. Oh, I remember now. <sighs> I had to come back because I believe they said Merlin's looking for me. I don't remember where you hear this. I always do this. Because that someone has to tell you that you can, like, go through the, that door. Cheeky, cheeky. Now let me leave. Let's waste more of our time. And look, it's a ninja! There's one of those Mario races you just never really see anymore. Yep, Starborn Valley. Merle. <sighs> Alright. Yada, yada, yada. Standard stuff, we all know. They're saying, hey, now you can go to Chapter 7. So, I think both Thousand Year Door and... Wait, did Thousand Year Door have something like this? I think kind of. No. This game kind of, like, has the sewer laid out for you the whole time, but you never have to do it until now, really. And even then, you, if you know where you're going, you could just come straight here. You never have to interact with the sewers too much. And yes, I do need to recline this much. My back is, in fact, hurting. My throat's also hurting, but I don't have anything to drink, so that's a bit too bad on my part. Alright, here's the first of the last. Okie doke. You know, if I could have had my way, I would never have put a point in the bomb bat. But... That was earlier in the game, and there just simply wasn't enough, uh party members to actually use all of the super blocks with. Welcome to Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Are we going to be able to do this an hour and ten minutes? Maybe. Who knows? It's a secret to everybody. Yeah. Can, we, can we go now? Alright, there we go. Huh. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, I remember this one. It's right here. I, I distinctly remember this one for one particular reason, which we'll talk about in a second. Whoa, game. You're, you're, you gotta calm down a bit. Game's going too hard, too fast, too furious. There's an Attack FX badge. One of those ones that people don't ever, like... A lot of people, again, don't know about that, like, this whole area, the fact you can get into this house. But, I mean, why would you want to, really? There's also the, always the last badge I get in the game, which is the songbook attack effects badge. Because it's in the one area you never have to go to. There's a club 
You may have seen that when we were at the port section of Toad Town, there was a club directly north of, like, where the whale was, and I never went in there because it's irrelevant. The only thing you're ever going to get in there is, um... An attack of X-Badge. Also, this dude's a dead. And says Herring Way. <sighs> this is a reference to a book, I believe. I don't remember what book it is. Not that I don't know what book it is, or not that I don't read. It's the fact that I'm terrible with names, and I couldn't remember it if I if if you uh told it to me five minutes prior. It's a penguin murder mystery. Okay, I'd be able to remember it if it was actually called the penguin murder mystery. So what's going on here, man? I need to calm down now. I gotta speak slowly so I get bottom of this. All right. My husband's dead. Look at him lie there. Oh my <laughs> darling husband, someone clipped his flippers. Do, do, do these penguin people have flippers? I mean, I guess it's like their hands. That'd be like flippers, I guess. My husband murdered. Right there, the man with a suspicious mustache. I told him not to come and I was to be barged right in. My husband was alive right until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Play Baker with me, buddy. I'm professional. We got a witness here. That's right, madam. Uh, that's right, he did it cold blood. I uh, saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came in this room. It all adds up. What? Why are you like this lady? Why do I have Goomba? Oh, I remember why I have Goomba. I was gonna say, wait, what? Alright. Dude, this lady literally said she saw it with her own eyes. How is there even a question that I could not be the murderer? Then again, she has. There's also no proof that I am the murderer, but I am the prime suspect. So he's he's kind of right about it. This is the reason why I remember because you can't exactly you cannot flip over this tile while these penguins are here, which means you have to solve the murder mystery to get that uh star star piece if you hadn't done it before. This dude actually kind of does it right. Where, I'm not being, like, can... Ooh, there he is. There's our boy Chuck Quizmo. Where, technically, I'm not just being hauled off to the brig right now, but he's not letting me leave town. Like, all the exits are blocked off. I'm gonna save. The reason we had to go see that is because the uh, right side of town is ex was uh, locked off, and it was like, hey, go talk to the mayor. And... You couldn't get this thing down here because that, like, police dude is saying, hey, don't crack the ice, it's dangerous, and then he kicks you out if you try to. Alright, quiz time. Man, why would I try to solve a murder mystery when I go on a quiz party? Station's not in the thing, Golden Oldies. It actually is FM Shroom, I'm so mad. I can never get this one right. It actually was FM Shroom. That seems like the most likely one. How am I? How is it this hard? Are you ready to see the buggiest thing in the game? Like actually, like actually, no. I'd say the buggiest thing in the game is the spring in the volcano area. But there's this. Here, let me just wait for it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Paper Mario. We're not going to mess with this too much, because, I mean, we're just wasting time, but I can keep doing this. And I believe... This, uh, loading zone just doesn't even exist right now. Or maybe it does. Who knows? It does not. Okay. It will not let me, uh, do that then. Alright then. Alright, let me off. We'll mess with it a bit later. I can throw that one, like... Do I want to put that in the bonus video? Honestly, not really. Considering that one's very simple. You can just kind of fiddle around with the thing. Uh, any, like, really crazy glitches to be done with that one, uh, I would not be the one to show. Go look up Strider 7X on YouTube if you really want to see some of the details of that glitch, but yeah. 
through the chimney. Ingenious. Nate, I'm Herringway, the novelist. Have you heard of me? His name is actually just Mayor Penguin. Quality right there. What if he wasn't, uh, the mayor? What if I, like, gave him that name at birth and he went on to become, like, a construction worker? I get, I guess Meyer, like, Mayer is a name, but I'm not, like, like, M-A-Y-E-R. Mayer is a name, I suppose. I guess it works. I got stuck on a fence. Oh, also, uh, there's a game crash right here. If I paused the game right here, like pause and unpause, it would mess with uh, Herringway's model and turn him into a regular penguin. They're called Bumpties. And it would, he would just be one of the default blue Bumpties like they are outside. But the one problem about that is that this dude's going to call up on animations that only Herringway has, so a regular Bumpty doesn't have in the game will crash. Again, you can look up Strider 7X on YouTube to see that one. I just don't want to crash the game because we're already on, not a, you know, like, definitive time crunch, but I don't want to loiter too much. It is fun, though, but we'd have to redo all this. I kind of didn't even think about it before we got here, else I would have saved and done it. And then I'd have to reboot the game, and... Ah, oh, jeez, there's a lot going on there. I don't want to have to do all that nonsense. This is also going on YouTube. we got to keep at least some kind of a good pace. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Penguin Murder Mystery's getting more and more interesting. Except, you know, he's not actually dead. That was, uh... Really... Difficult case, I'd have to say. Phoenix Wright, eat your heart out, I suppose. That was in your door also has something like this where you have to solve cases and whatnot, so I think that game does that one a bit better, because the train level and the uh, glitz pit. The Excess Express and the glitz pit are my two favorites, and both of them are fun. It's the, it's the uh, Excess Express, which is the crime. You're a detective. <sighs> level. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, finish that sentence faster, but the yawn decided now is the time to come out when I'm in the middle of talking. Alright. That's pretty much about it. He wanted to give the dude a present. Yeah. So yeah, that was that whole shtick. The dude, like, bonked his head and got knocked out. He wanted to give Herringway a present, which is why he had the, like, name written down on, like, his hand. It's like a note thing. Well... Here we go. That's a pretty fun sequence, though. <laughs> we get convicted for murder like two seconds after entering town, and this lady's like, Hey, yeah, no, you totally did it. You most assuredly have done it. There's no question in my mind. No doubt, no, uh, no ifs, ands, or buts on that one. So now, oh, oh that's not right. Now, you can uh, keep that sushi glitch going all the way through here. You can't go anywhere else because the exit's a pipe. Oh. But yeah, you can use that sushi glitch all the way up through, like, this whole area. It's crazy. There's lots of game crashes and really crazy glitches you can uh, accrue with the sushi glitch. Anytime you can uh, swim on land is insane. All right. Cool techniques. Check this out. Aha! Boom. Look at that piece of work. I've taken a little magic course on the side. And now you're going to be my final exam. I'm not even full HP while I prepared. I didn't even restore the jam and jellies. I'm even more prepared for this than I thought. How much defense you got? Let's find out. You have two defense. So this is not effective in the slightest. Here. If we're going to be actually doing like a mini boss, fine. Cloud nine. That's like hard pre-prep for this. 
There it is. There's a magic trick. That kind of projectile right there is what magic Koopas are supposed to do, but instead they do the one that just slaps you in the back of the head. That's not right, I feel. I feel like I need to state this. That's just not right for them to be doing that. Oh dear. <sighs> Keep spamming refresh and get all Cloud9 proccing. If it wanted to be even more risky, it could have just stayed in danger and let Close Claw take over. Are you are you serious right now? Can you stop hitting me? I have a very high dodge chance, Mr. Man. You're not supposed to be able to hit me. Here, let me let me shove this fried egg in my face. Numb. Probably gonna unequip Medicine Man now that I think about it. Like it's crazy good, but I don't like abusing it as much as I should otherwise. Because to be fair, it is a little cheesy if I wanted to go the hot shroom route. But instead, I want to go the dodge route, which is more fun, in my opinion. I like being just unhittable. Medicine Man with Hot Shrooms, though, is definitely, like, a dominant strategy. But considering I don't have that much HP, for, like, a long time, I'm not going to have that much HP. So. You know. Wow, it actually missed once. Fantastic, thanks. I'm sure you wish you could have done that sooner rather than not at all. Okay. Alright, let me just... Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit him with a hammer. So, if jumping did four, this should do... Five. Alright. Yeah, like I assumed, but... Hey, there it is. Ow. Ow! Wow! Yeah, that's right. I, he, it does a lot more damage when you don't block the thing. Ow! This is why Sushi's water block ability is also so nice, because it just flat reduces the damage you take by one in the base game, but pro mode two. It's like, one less damage each hits? Okay. Goal must be getting to me. I need to take a breather and recuperate just for a minute. Yeah, there's the pro mode gimmick, because this dude always has one. Here. Let's just use focus, then. See, so if we need to just wait around, I'm going to buff up, then. Hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna be cheeky and try to avoid me, then I'll tank up and try to avoid you. We'll do this. We'll do the same song and dance, son. Boom, water block. Let's go. Get used to seeing this move, because when we start doing them them optional bosses, you're gonna be seeing it a lot. Nah, not happening. Will this work if he's intangible? Let's find out. No idea. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, uh, that's a good test. See, this is why you upgrade Watt, Parag, or not Paragiri, Watt, Sushi, and Lack of Lester for this exact reason. Keep them, those buff cycles are going. One problem with doing it this way is your partners only get one turn to actually attack. Considering water blocks gonna also actually no, charge lasts an extra turn, so it makes the numbers a little bit funky, but you know. Uh so just waiting on him, so let's just focus up again. Oh, dropped a dropped a card. That's not right. Right, come on, Mr. Man, actually become like unintangible, please. How long is this gonna last? Thousand Year Door also has a turn counter for this kind of garbage. Nope, he's still and still just trucking along being invisible. Okay. I mean, clearly he's good at it. It's better than booze and magi Koopas, so good for him. Alright. It's weird that he doesn't also fly and have a spike on his head, though. I don't think they wanted to make him that difficult, but for promo, why wouldn't they, you know? There's no reason not to. 
It's not like he's like restricted in any particular manner. Don't give up, don't you? I'm gonna suspect that, but now it's time to finish you off. And then, oh yeah, uh, okay. Alright, cheeky cheeky boy, if you think that's gonna work, fine then. I'll just, uh, Mega Quake would then hit for 8. How much HP does he have? Eh. Yeah, let's just, just try to kill him. Kablam. Hit him for 8. Alright. And then just slap him for another 5. With what? You see, Cloud9 is proccing all the time, and this is the benefit of it. You see how often I just don't get hit? This is why anything that ups your dodge along with Cloud9 is crazy good. Because if it doesn't say Lucky, that means it's Cloud9 proccing. If it says Lucky, it's one of the Lucky badges proccing. So, close call, pretty lucky, etc, etc. Alright, there we go. No. Let's go heal up, because we... Actually, we don't need to, now that I think about it. Never mind. <laughs> no! And in keeping with the progress of crashes, here's a fun one. If you uh, pick up this letter before it hits the ground, like you jump and catch it, the game will crash. Uh, again, can how many times do I have to keep saying this? Go look up Strider7x on YouTube to find out the specifics of why in a demonstration. Because there are so many game crashes in this area, I'd really rather not show them off. We'd be here forever. Pick up all the letters. Alright. Now where are these going to? Mayor Penguin, Shiver City, Merlot and Shooting Star Summit, and Frosty and Starborn Valley. Okay. Whoa! Turn back, come no further, I'll eat you. Dude, I'll show you what for. There he is. It's a scary man. Uh, scary is subjective, but he's absolutely bone-chillingly terrifying to me. Please don't hate. It's the Monstar. There he is, it's our boy- Oh, wow. You know what? If there's any attack in the game that's gonna lag, I'd expect it to be this one. Look at it go. I would honestly consider that to be the hardest attack to dodge in the game. But considering this is the only enemy in the game that does it, you know. I, I, I'd more so consider the uh, crazy daisies and amazing daisy. But I mean, if you want to talk about just in, for like individual attacks, yeah, I'd probably give it to that one. Because at least with the amazing daisies and crazy daisies, you can practice. But that dude normally has 10 HP in the base game and hits for one. So he may not even get an attack off with how frequently you see that attack. The timing on that one is, let's say, obscure. Hello, Merle. 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 Hush your face. I need to go deliver a letter. Hey, that's not the right button. That's the right button. Ah. Uh -huh. Is it you? No. You? No. How about you? Ah. Uh ha! -huh. Frosty! There we go. That's the one. Another letter duly delivered. Those naughty little rascals. Dainty and minty. Alright. Take it back to Goompapa in Goomba Village. Tank for Goombaria, but I think her dad could explain it to her better. Drop it off whenever you have. To finally close out the list, the loop of uh, nonsense. There you go. We have to go. We started at Goom Papa. We're going to end at Goom Papa. All right. We're going to be heading back at the town at that point anyway, so. It'll be good to just clean it all up. So, Mayor Penguin, Shooting Star Summit, Goom Papa. Okay. This dude's going to explain some garbage. Just. 
Mike, I guess I'm giving you a chance to pause it if you really want to read them. That is usually the thing I like to do. But, uh... He's saying the crystal, the star spirit's in the crystal palace. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know one else how to get to it. It's been passed down through generations, and this is how you get into it. We have no idea what it does, but it supposedly opens the way to the crystal palace, is what he's saying. Oh, also, it's only one half of the solution. The other half is back in, uh, the penguin town. Yeah. It's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along... Oh, yeah. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. That's a different hint for something later. There are two puzzles he's giving you at this point. But, you know. Let's move on. I just leave. Oh, oh there we go. No icy piranhas. Oh well, what can you do? Luckily I can just hardline stamp them out. I always remember this is the part of the game that enemies start getting really tanky, 10 and 12, but I also remember this being one of the easiest chapters in the game, because at this point of the game, you just have so many options. Like, I have maxed BP, so only HP and FP is going to be coming up. Plus, also, yeah, they're technically ice enemies, so they take extra damage from fire. It's just... That did cost 13 FP to do, though, so there is at least that. So, but... It, it's still a one-tap, one-kill, you know? Oh, that's unfortunate. Why would around him freeze is the one question. He had had, like a, like, a bubble of water for it to freeze in that manner, but uh, whatever. It all works, I suppose. Now, let's go deliver that letter to the Mayor Penguin and also get his uh, half of the puzzle to get to the Crystal Palace. And yeah, now those penguins are gone on the star panel, so now you could get the star piece if you hadn't before. Alright. Hello. Something like that. I had, I just had it just a minute ago. Here it is. I don't want a scarf. This one's a bucket. Uh, you know, ancient treasures passed down through the family line for generations. Heirlooms. Priceless in nature. But, you know. Uh, now, here. Take your stupid letter. There you go. I hope you enjoy. It's from Yoshi Village. I don't know where that is, but that's uh, bad. It's pretty far away. Yay. I could be saying he's going to read it later. I'm honestly kind of curious as to why a anyone in Yoshi Village is... Uh, sending the Mare Penguin a letter. I'm kind of curious now. But no, we don't get to know. To be fair, it's not our job to know, but I am I not allowed to be curious? Is that against the rules? No. And if it is against the rules, I'm gonna break them. You can't stop me. You're not a member of the Thought Police. I think whatever I want to think, son. Okay. Now, there's a little bit more backtracking we've got to do. we got to go back up to Shooting Star Summit. And go deliver the uh, letter. And do you know... Actually, wait. I have this still. I've never given back the uh, mailbag. Here you go. I hope you enjoy. Bada boom. I never even checked. You, uh, your party members will be getting mail throughout the game. I honestly forget that place even exists. With how, like, oppressive it is, considering on that screen, it is massive. And it covers up uh, most of the screen on that area. Oh. Like, air... Hard time talking, but yeah. Like, it's so big, so massive, and so imposing for, for a you know, postal service building. Uh, I forget it exists. It just becomes like white noise in the back of everything else that's going on. Here's your stupid letter. Hope you enjoy.
Hey, do you know what she's gonna... I, li I like what she says here. It's from her dad. Alright. Where is it? Hey, Adoran. Uh, There's a treasure that I kept for a long time. I'm gonna give it to you as thanks. You could always come back and swap me something for it. Wow. She effectively just gave me something that I'm just gonna have to give back. But, you know, whatever. Uh, flower saver is always good. Flower fanatics just even better, considering. But, uh, really, I don't want any of these. None of these are looking crazy attractive. Uh, I'm really just gonna save up for flower fanatic, if anything, you know? Chuck Kui, I could be, I could have, like, more than 40 more, uh, star pieces, I feel. All of Chuck Quizmo's quizzes, all of the, uh, side quests for Koopa Koot. I could backtrack and get every single one of the hidden tiles that I've missed. Because I may not have just entered the screen with, uh, the I Spy. Most of them I've most assuredly gotten, but there's so many that I'm most definitely missing. Alright. I actually know where one of them is, just off the top of my head. Well, we're gonna go get it. It's the one that I always remember because I love how cheeky it is. Alright. Head back down to, uh, Goomba Village. Ooh, that's not right. Alrighty there. Get a Goom Nut. Because why not? It's actually free. That's uh, maple syrup I just picked up. Just gotta go cook the thing. We can come back here now that the brand is fixed. And at certain some point of the game, that appears there. I don't remember when. But... This is the time I always come to pick it up, because I'm already here. Where- there you are. Ah, there we go. Take my letter, and enjoy. A duly delivered letter. Oh, ho, a letter for Gumbar. I guess I could open it. Here. Lucky day. It is a straight upgrade to Pretty Lucky. Where Pretty Lucky is a 10% chance of at every time there's an enemy can miss, Lucky Day is a 25% chance every time for an enemy to miss. And it costs six. Which is why I'm like, you know our good old friend uh, Damage Dodge? Probably not gonna stay equipped for the longest time. Same with Medicine Man. That's probably gonna have to also be unequipped at some point. Maybe not now, but sooner rather than later. One thing I can actually unequip is uh, refund. As much as I love the thing, we don't just we just don't need it anymore. Actually, how much money do I have? Yeah. If I really need more money, I'll re-equip the thing, you know? It is right here. At the very first screen of the game, I've never actually I never actually came back here. This is where Mario fell from Bowser's castle. After all this time, right where he landed, right on the spot, was a star piece. It's cheeky, and I like it. Alright. What's ten... So... It's lucky day lowers the chance of enemies hitting to 75% chance. And then there's another 10% chance off that. So, 10% of 75 is... It wouldn't be 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Wait, that's no, 10%. 56, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. So it'd be 8, maybe? 8, 16. I, mean, I, got, I want to count on my fingers just to keep a mental track. 8, 16, 24. It goes 24, 32, 40. Double that again, that becomes 80. So it's about 7.5. So, it goes down from a 75% chance to about 60, and so 5 minus 7.5 is 2.5, so 60 minus 2.5 is, uh, wait, no, so 70, so it'd be 60, 70 minus 2.5, that is 7.5 again. So the chances of enemies hitting with just those two badges are 60... 67.5, I believe? Don't quote me on that. I believe that's the map. I think, like, I think I'm in the... Like, I'm pretty close, if nothing else. 
Normally I'm pretty okay about doing head math, but the fact that I have to keep saying it is the thing that's throwing me off on that one. And I mean, I'm never never gonna be one to stout my overwhelming intelligence, so... <laughs> At least I got the job done. Multiplicative everything. Everybody. Also, yeah, very crazy puzzle. Just put, put the scarf and the stupid bucket on their face. Wow. Hard. Who knew? Thank you. What a kind man we are. We thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. And, uh, here's the secret. Boom! The entrance to the Crystal Palace. Also, if you'll notice, I didn't actually cook the goom nut. I thought about it that a little bit more. And it's a very good reason I did. Please pass through here. With many thanks and blessings from the snowmen. There's a reason I didn't. Ah, uh, I love this place. Love it a lot. The Crystal Palace. It's got a really cool boss. It's got a really cool... Okay. You want to not do that? That'd be also much appreciated, son. If we really wanted to do rounding on the math that I did earlier, there's effectively a 30% chance for dudes to miss. Just free low. You know? The specifics don't matter. Just with lucky day and pretty lucky. 30% chance for stuff to miss. Then if you want to throw on... Do you want to keep doing math? It's probably not good commentary, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I mean, I could just think it out. It'd be like, you know... I say, it's not good commentary, but then I want to do it, so it's 50%. 25% of 50 is... 15, 30, 45. Uh, that'd be like 13 something. So maybe not. Because it'd be like 13, 26, 39, 12, 14, 12, 24, 36, 48. Yeah. It'd be like 12. It would be 12.5. Yeah, it'd be 12.5. And then once you get to the point fives is when I stop caring about the math. <laughs> so. It's, based on what I thought, so if it's 12.5 off of 50, so that's like a 40-something, and then I'm going to imagine another 10% off that, I'd say you have around a 60% chance to miss with uh, lots of wiggle room thrown in. There's something here. Don't even try it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I didn't get rid of the jam and jelly. Oh, no. I actually genuinely need to go do that. Like, really badly. <sighs> I'm- I have to. I have to go do that. Here goes that goom nut that I wanted so badly for a very good reason. The reason that I need to do this is because... I have to have an open inventory for this place. It's not exactly like a perilous trek. Is there even a shop in this place? There's not. Huh. Is there a shop in this place? No, wait, there is a shop over here. I don't remember. I almost never go to these shops anymore, so I, I have no idea if there's a shop over here. Huh. Shop? No? Why would there be a town with no shop? There's a toad house, like I assumed. There is a shop. Okay, that's... This is not a bad trek, then. Okay. Here. Oh, there's also a life room here. Take my garbage. I really wish I had that goom nut still, though. Rip. Take all of this really expensive stuff that I most assuredly do not need. Alright. Snowman doll is pretty cool, but... The thing is that, like, it's like I need a junk item. I guess I'll grab, like, a maple syrup as, like, a junk item. Same with the snowman doll. It's dirt cheap, which is why I'm like, hey. Maple syrup's a pretty junk, good, good old junk item. Considering you get maple syrup for free, so. I came all this way back, but then my problem becomes I need a junk item to put in there. Did I take out all the goom nuts from my storage? Probably not, so I could have also grabbed those, but. Eh. 
They've been there since the prologue. They're going to stay there till the end of the game. Their dedication to the cause is respectable, considering they've just sat in storage the whole time. Good job not rotting, you weird nut things. What is a goom nut? How long? What? What is the, uh, you know... I guess they're not refri- what's, what's it called? Like, lasting time for goom nuts? I don't remember the term for it. For something that's like, how long it can take before rotting. Oh, there's a pebble. That's pretty cool. It's not that cool, actually. But we do need it, so there's a reason I grabbed it. Oh, that's not right. All right. Oh, wow, Cooper, that's impressive. Did I, did I have two Coopers before? I don't think that's right. I'm Cooper. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm Cooper. Yeah. We're talking crazy talk now. I'm the genuine Cooper. Really, come on, Mario. No, this guy's a big liar. Well, he said you're a liar, so clearly you're lying. Shut your mouth, you goody-goody. I like this Cooper more. He's got some sats. Eh. Honestly, I I barely remember what happens if you hit the wrong one, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? I'm guessing we have to fu Oh, wow. Okay. Is Do I have to do this again is the thing? Okay, wow. That's, uh... Wow. It actually swapped their locations. That's kind of neat. I didn't know they did that. So that's fun. I thought you'd have to fight them or something. But no, they're just... They're just taking that one as a free law. I think you have to fight them later, which is why I want to do it. Because that seems fun. I like the cutscene. Oh, I... Okay, never mind. You have to fight it if you get it right. Ugh. Why must you split hairs, Ghost Man? You shall die for these transgressions. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Much better. I'm gonna hope, uh, Happy Flower procs. Ah, eh, wait, no, it was not gonna proc for, uh, three. So, maybe not. I don't, I don't think that's gonna be happening. Oh, well. It's not like it matters. Honestly, I should hit the other one. Lack, uh, lack of Lester's attacks are, like, incredibly easy to block. Whatever. It's not like that's hard, either. I say as I had gotten hit from it, like, not even 20 seconds ago. That was a difficult fight. Man, why did... How did Mario get captured in Luigi's Mansion again? I'm clearly a ghost exterminating master. Get that white club out of here, and there it is! The last super block, baby! Upgrade the most useless party member in pro mode. Fantastic. I'm gonna sit back on that one. That's a good time. Do I want to fight the clubba? No, I do not like clubbas. We've said this before, we've seen it. There's video proof that I am hot garbage when it comes to clubbas. So I, gra I bought that uh, snowman doll thinking I was going to put it in there, but I guess there's like a free low snowman doll here, so it's not like it I guess I'll just use the snowman doll at some point during this uh, dungeon, I guess. Yeah, good maple syrup in there. Give me this one, though. This one's cooler. I'll take a snowman doll over a maple syrup any day. Considering maple syrups are actually free, you just cook a goom nut, and goom nuts are at Goomba Village, the first area of the game. There's no real value to the things otherwise. You know what? I'm tired of being like a mortal. Let me just face this wall real fast. Yeah, here we go. That's a pretty difficult puzzle. You know what? I'm understating that. That's really cool when you're, like, young or for a first time. That's kind of neat. Walking through walls is pretty cool. Thousand Year Door does this whole section, a very mystical, like, rules-breaking section. More, more better, I feel. Yeah, more better, I feel like, is the proper term for that. With the tower. 
There's lots of real funky stuff going on in the tower. Tower's crazy in Thousand Year Door. I love it. But this is a good precursor towards it. Oh, Mario. Come on now. Now's not the time to be doing this. If you needed a power rat power nap, you could have just told me, buddy boy. Well, okay then. Pretty much, yeah. Did, did you have to tell me your whole life story there, lady? I wish there was a, uh... <laughs> Is there a, a TLDR for someone talking? Well, there, Charles Dickens, I did not come here to read a book. To hear you read a book at me, lady. Just tell me that. Take the Star Stone, use it to get into the Crystal Palace. Alright, and now the Star Stone is gone. This is definitely very important. Thank you for the story. And now we're never going to see that lady again. Considering her home is now, uh, gone. Hope you like ice. I mean, I like ice. I, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I don't know, man. Could she leave that area? She's like a ghost person. I don't know. Ghosts are both very free and very restricted. It depends. Did she, like, die there or something? Is she, like, shackled there? Is her, is her like, life mission complete? Now that she's given me the Star Stone. Also, make a jump, but that's pretty cool. Oh, that's not right. Actually, that is right. You just got fooled. You come down here, you grab a star piece. <laughs> and hope you like stairs, because now we get to see stairs round two. The sequel that no one asked for. Stairs one was already like a B movie that barely broke even, and they made a sequel. Man, Hollywood just loves pumping out really shite movies nowadays, huh? Very poor quality, I feel. In bad taste all around. Welcome to the Star pa Star Palace. Pfft. Crystal Palace. Got to show some level of respect to arguably the best dungeon in the game. Nope. No swoopers. Swoopers are not kosher. It's a big blue key. Also, I don't even remember this, but I'm, like, pretty sure... I think Mega Smash and Mega Jump aren't in the base Paper Mario. I don't know the, like, true facts on that one, but I think that's right. I do not remember those badges being in the base Paper Mario. I like this section right here, because this raises the question, which part of the uh, building is moving? Because both of these are built into a mountain. So is the entire rest of the dungeon moving, or are we moving? Because I did not see any section that would easily imply that the section Mario was on is moving. And if they're moving the rest of the dungeon, that's going to take so much energy. Oof. Man, <laughs> I don't like these coin boxes because they just take forever. They're kind of tedious. I got like eight coins from them too. It's great. I could just equip the refund badge and get that for free. Doesn't need to take ten seconds out of my life when I can waste that time myself. You don't need to tell me how to waste my own time game. Oh, how much HP does that club have? Five? Okay. Well, fine. We'll uh, do some good old-fashioned fire shell just to get him out of the way. Because I hate clubbers. Just gonna burn through our FP in the meantime, but eh, acceptable losses, you know? Specifics of this don't matter too much. Oh, hi, Watt. I believe what, uh, funnily enough, actually is always electric, so making physical contact is just gonna hurt you. I mean, you'll hurt, uh, her, because it's like a zap-tap kind of thing, so we're just gonna ignore all that, because Lackluster's basic attack is actually amazing, and people who don't appreciate it don't know what, uh, proper video game is. Lackluster is the best party member, and I will defend that till the end of time, even if he's not statistically the best. I like him. And that's what matters.
You know what? Man, this Crystal Palace is not all it's uh, cracked up to be. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, I think Peach is fine. Oh, I can't leave this way. Fine, I guess I'll give it another attempt. If you insist. You don't gotta twist my arm about it, I hear. I'll take a super shroom. Okay. Batty boy. Oh, how am I gonna kill all of you? You know what? I do have him. Eh, I don't know about the Magi Koopa, but if I had more FP, I could use Tidal Wave against these guys. Also, if this was a better Paper Mario game, I could have used an item to kill them all. They actually do have 4 HP, though, so the, 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 the math works out on that one. The, the, the math. The more times you say the, the less smart you appear to your audience. True fact. Hit that follow and or subscribe button for more true facts. Uh, uh, in an unrelated note, the true facts series is now cancelled, so don't expect any more true facts. <laughs> Break this, and come in here. You can see we're finally getting to the part of the game where, uh, oh, actually, yeah, well, where even something like the Snowman doll is not quite as worth anymore. Four damage to everyone is actually, you know what, considering the fact that it's technically free. And I believe it's piercing, too. So, that's pretty good. Also, if you wanted to do that, like, a totally viable strategy is to do the uh, double dip gameplay style. Where you can double dip. So, even the double dipped... Uh, Ice or Snowman Dolls, pretty good. Cost a little bit of BP, a little bit of FP, pop two Snowman Dolls in one turn, and you're doing 8 damage to everyone. One up that to a Star Storm, and you're doing 12 damage in a single turn for free. Could you not make it invisible? Please. Uh, counter argument, I'm not going to play this game anymore. I am now done with all of you because I'm not going to waste my time. My time is precious. Unlike yours, because clearly you like playing the stall game. Uh, on a follow-up to that, uh, that's also say, being said by the man who is currently going for a dodge strategy. So, about stalling out the opponent and building up advantage over time. P down D up. Oh, that's just amazing. Wow, thanks. More like it's actually not amazing. Any badge that lowers your power is not exactly good. I'll take a damage dodge or a defend plus any day. Because it's just them, but without any downsides. Alternatively, the opposite version of that, is of P up, D down, is actually pretty alright. Considering if you can kill the enemy on turn one, then it just doesn't matter. But all or nothing is still the best uh, offensive increasing badge. So cheap, too. Now, P up, D down. P is actually incredibly cash money. And I'll, def I'll fight for that one any day. But those don't exist in this game. Alright, are you going to multiply again? Oh, yeah. There we go. There's a lot. Here's a little cheeky tip. Look behind Mario and you can see a little shadow right there. That means uh, they just put your party member and turned them invisible while all these bombettes are out and about. So I'm still uh, having a party member following me based on the fact that there's just a shadow. You could also have seen, uh, seen the shadow like move into place right as the uh, thing happened. I'm even being followed by it. Like, oh, oh, who's the imposter? It's you. I actually wasn't paying attention. Let's just see how long I can go until I find the right one. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. I was going to smack you anyway. Is he you? I don't know. Is he you? I don't know. I actually didn't pay attention to any of this dialogue. I'm astounded I'm getting this right. I'm perfect. Yeah, you do fight them like I had assumed. Yeah, main reason is just because I'm like, why should I care? I'll bludgeon my own party member. Fine. What, what doesn't matter? Go get him, Bombette! It's 
thanks, Paper Mario promo, for making me spend 10 FP on an attack that doesn't do damage. They really hate Bombette. I'll at least give them that. Bombette is the most broken party member in the early game, but that they have to neuter everything about her to the point of irrelevance? Nothing about Bombette is worth it anymore. There's a red key. That's pretty cool. Red keys are cool. We take those. And I will reaffirm that that demonstration of the fact that Mega Bomb actually does do no damage is correct. It was the correct play. Optimal, in fact. It was required to beat the game. It's, uh, the main reason it's required is so my uh, fans... <laughs> fans. Uh, don't get mad at me. They're future fans. They're those nebulous fans that don't really exist. Oh, great, we're doing this. Am I fine on HP? Yeah, we're fine on HP. Okay. Oh, time to deal with Clovis. Okie doke. Oh, there's an albino dino. That is one of the enemies who's data mined in the original Paper Mario, but was never a, an encounter. You can find them in the game. In fact, we're going to run into them later. But you, their, action, their data is in the game, and all... Really, that's it. There was a fight program for these dudes. They weren't in the base game, so promo dudes, put them in the base game. Put them. This isn't the base game. Put them in the promotes game. Yeah. I believe the albino dino uh, has defense, so Bo is hot garbage when it comes to albino dino shenanigans. It's also really fast. How much defense you got? I hit for seven. How much you gonna take? I took three. You got four defense. Woo! I mean, hey, credit where credit's due. Like, props. You have, like, Buzzy Beetle level of defense. Cool. I don't know if this is gonna kill Merle. I did three damage. If you really want me to kill, you should have told me to use Make a Quake. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. I'm actually one damage short. Definitely efficient damage wise. Well, I'm efficient for one reason or another. I can actually just use Refresh and have Watt do a failed action command against him. I'm always okay with enemies living with one HP because the failed uh, Watt action command makes me laugh. It's a good time. It's a silly, silly time. Instead of a good time. It's a silly thing to have happen. Alright, round... Round two. There's three of these things you gotta get through. Also, I don't think we're gonna fight any more albino dinos. I think it's just the one. Why is it only one? I don't know why they put, like, one in the game. I think you fight an albino dino in the, uh... Chapter 7 Endurance Trial, so... At least it's that, I suppose. Can I kill? How much does this cost? Does this cost eight? No, it costs six. Wow, all right, cool. All right, works for me. Oh, they're white clubbers. They're, they're technically considered an ice enemy, so they take uh, two extra damage from fire. That's cool. You can uh, write that one down for your professional super challenge mode for Paper Mario. White clubbers take extra fire damage. I know it's very relevant. Don't oh, be mad at me. Ah, oh, jeez. How many of these things are gonna be here? Here, we'll refresh, get some FP, and then we'll just use, like, a Thunder Rage next turn. Because I do actually have to use items, because my inventory is kind of full. Yeah, yeah, that seem that's seeming like a uh, good play. Boom. Actually, yeah, Thunder Rage will just kill. Honestly, a snowman doll would be fine. Oh no! Oh, thank you. Ah, my eternal struggle with clubbas is still the case. I cannot hit them. 
I cannot block- er, not hit them. I cannot block clubbas. It's just not possible. Is this gonna work? These dudes are ice enemies. I don't know how ice works against ice. They're immune to it. Oh. Oh, no. Actually, Power Shell does four damage. <laughs> Please don't kill me. We're clean, boys. Uh, that's also something you can write down in that same notebook as the earlier tip. Ice dudes are immune to ice. I figured it would have just done less damage, and then Cooper could have killed. That would have, it would have like lowered the damage by one or two. But no, it it it, it did nothing. It uh oh oh no. That could have gone really bad. All right, let's go save. Because this is getting a little bit too close for comfort. <clears throat> also, uh, we actually have 14 minutes left until the end of the normal stream. But we're actually getting decently close to the end of this dungeon. We may have to do what we did with Huff and Buff. Or we may have to uh, save the Peach section, Peach intermission, for the next time. Wait a minute, there is no next Peach intermission, that's right. It's just a cutscene. So, okay. That's not too bad. You son of a... Why are you like this? Who said this was okay? Eh. Oh, I have to use Bombat. Ugh. No, no. No clubbas. No clubba. Bad, yes. Bad clubbas. We do not fight the clubbas. We don't associate with their kind. I don't like them in my house. And as funny as all of these jokes about hitting the wrong guy are, uh, see, there's that shadow partner again, the mystery, mystery man. I'm just not going to hit the wrong guy just so I don't have to get into another fight. Because I'm a little bit low on HP and FP, and I don't want to deal with it right now. There are a lot of things I don't want to deal with. And that's definitely one of them. <laughs> but some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Alright, there we go. I got that mystery partner going on right now. Okay. Mission accomplished. Oh, we're almost at the end. Almost. Here'd be a very fun place to backtrack if you didn't uh, get those star uh, star pieces. I'd love having to walk from Toad Town back to here to get that if I had missed it. That sounds like a lot of fun. Trust me. Luckily, this isn't too bad of an area. I think this is like the last really big hurdle. Then we have like a puzzle room, then we're at the boss. So, we got... We got time. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is there gonna be, like, a thing here? Yep. It's jam and jelly. Goodbye, maple syrup. Don't need you. To be fair, I don't exist. No. Bad maple syrup. Cooper, you're also being bad. I do not appreciate the amount of degeneracy that's going on right in this room. All of you are fighting me, and I hate it. I feel... I'm feeling so attacked right now. It got me all, like... Got me all emotional. I feel they're trying to come at me at like a personal level. There's that PFD down badge, just like I talked about earlier. That one's okay. It's not quite as okay, considering you don't have that partner to be taking hits like you do in Thousand Year Door. And uh, having Mario take more damage in pro mode is an even worse idea. Unless you're going for, like, some kind of an HP stacking build, which would work, actually, because Medicine Man. Like, you could go, like, a crazy amount of HP stacking, uh, have your partners be able to do mi the most of your damage using Watt, Bow, and Lackalester, and just kind of s stay alive forever with Hot Shrooms and, uh... 
guess if you really got to late game, you can make some, like, shroom steak or jammin' or jelly ultras if you really wanted to get down to it. You're needing jelly ultras. Man, you're really going for, like, a raw stat build. You'd probably put, like, no points into BP to be getting those kind of numbers. More than 75 HP and more than 50 FP. For a Medicine Man Jelly or Jelly Ultra to not be a full heal. Like, truly ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, we got nine minutes left. We'll, we'll do the boss. It's not, it's not gonna hurt no one to do no boss. Yeah, here are the albino dinos. They're here for a puzzle. Push the thing? Oh, oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay. I'm a dingus. I didn't think about that the right way. That's nah, not right. You want them to face the way they want to go. Yeah, we're gonna push you over here because I don't want to deal with uh, moving your friend, though. Here. There we go. It's also incredibly obnoxious if you don't realize this room doesn't have a big old pane of glass in the middle. Because the previous room implies that that's the case. By the fact that there there's a, a big old pane of glass with a, like, bit missing in the middle for you to pass between the rooms. But, no, this room doesn't have a big old pane of glass in the middle, so you just walk in between them. It's kind of an obnoxious puzzle otherwise. But it's not hard. And by no means is it hard. All right, all right. Here's our boss fountain. Could use some more star star points, but you know, a little bit of that good old star juice. Here's our boy. One of the coolest bosses in honestly all of the Paper Mario games. This dude, I quite like his design. He's not my favorite. I think my favorite would probably have to go to Cortez, but you know. Cortez is really cool, just design-wise. And he also has a pump and jam. This dude's got some jams going on. All right, Mr. Man. He has two defense, summon some dudes. He's, uh, he's definitely a guy, let's put it that way. You're going to be using a lot of that spiny surge in this fight. Because he'll dedicate a whole turn towards resummoning the things. I'm going to tell you right now, I have no idea what he can do with these things. Because for some reason, promo did not increase their HP from 1. I would actually make their HP 5. I don't know what he does with them. He clearly wants them because he dedicates time just to resummoning the things. But for the fact that Spiny Surge just takes them all out, and it is the cheapest method of doing that. Oh, don't let that hit you. That will freeze you. That's not uh, a good time. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be under any disillusions that I think the dude who makes these Paper Mario promos is watching my videos. But if he was, like I said, balance uh, the hot shrooms and... Make this dude harder. This dude is so easy. This is actually like the easiest boss in the entire game, other than the the Koopa Bros give each of their like individual like Koopas more HP because they have the same weaknesses they have in the base game, which is uh you have Bombette use bomb to knock the tower over, then you just use a fire flower and a pow block, and then they instantly die. It's not a hard fight. It is not a hard fight at all, the Koopa Bros. They definitely need to work on it. Any boss fight that can be completely circumvented by using two items, the two weakest items in the game, uh, damage items, I should say, if I really needed to specify that for those who are a little bit slower out there, or who aren't paying attention, that's also viable. It's probably not a good boss. Don't, don't have bosses that a... Pow Block, which does two damage to ground guys, and Fire Block, which is three fire damage. 
It's like, you could definitely be doing better. I mean, this dude has the same gimmick he has in the base game where this dude can heal. He heals, like, two, I think two or three times at max. Like, he has a limit to how many times he can heal, so. It's not like you have to out-DPS a 20 heal burst. This dude has two defense. Like, I already do a stupid amount of damage with a 7 piercing to all ground, and I'm doing 10 a turn right now when he doesn't uh, summon anything. So, these are good numbers. Oh, he's actually properly into second phase now. Which is pretty neat, actually. Like, how, you know, he has a bunch of clones, but you can just spiny search. It's like it's not even hard. Just, just spiny search. And there he is. And they're gone. I remember this boss being, like, the hardest thing when I was a kid, because I never thought to actually use multi-hitting attacks. Because I remember using Cooper a stupid amount as a kid. But if he was in the air, I would just jump and hope. Uh, this I was stuck on this dude for so long. I was a dumb kid. Then again, most people are. We're actually going to beat this fight so fast, because we still have another uh, three and a half minutes. We are just gonna do the peach, uh, peach cutscene, because it's not a proper peach intermission. So, oh, that's not right. Also, you know it's a good boss when I don't even have to be using Cloud Nine, because once you get Cloud Nine, if you're not using, you know, Cloud Nine, what are you doing with your life? And this is not a dude who needs Cloud Nine. There it is. Now, I don't even know if this whole Paper Mario promo thing was ever actually designed to be a genuinely, like, more balanced version of the game, or just harder, because some of the difficulty is spread so weirdly in this, is the one reason that I'm, like, kind of confused about it. The difficulty is spread weirdly. Like, Chapter 3, like, spikes in difficulty, I mean, for me personally, but even still, the fact that Clubba's hit so hard and have so much HP, it's really hard to survive at that point. Like, the early parts of Chapter 1, Chapter 3, and some parts of Chapter 6? No, Chapter 5. Yeah, I think it's Chapter 5. That, that's the jungle, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Some parts of Chapter 5 are pretty hard. And then after that, it's just kind of a coast. Like, I'm in Chapter 7, and I am not struggling at all. I had more trouble with what unique thing they added to Tubba Blubba. Not, not Tubba Blubba, I mean... Actually, yes, that Tubba too, but I meant uh, Tough and Puff. They didn't add anything to this guy. He has more HP and he has two defense. He doesn't have a unique gimmick. Like, the heart got... Like, Tubba... So, the first boss just hit harder. The Koopa Bros hit harder. The Tootin' Koopa had more shells and was had some defense, which at that point of the game, you know, that's at least, like... A solid increased da like difficulty, giving a boss that's in the air defense. That's pretty rough in Chapter 2. Chapter 3, Tubba Blubba's heart has minions, has more HP, and they made Tubba Blubba's body an actual fight. Chapter 4 is General Guy, who he summons minions in the middle of the fight and just med generally made him tank here. And uh, Chapter... Then Chapter 5, for the Lava Piranha... Uh... I don't think the Lava Piranha had anything new either. They just made him hit really hard. That was about it. He has the same problem he has in the base game where ice power and everything is too effective. Huff and Puff, they added some neat things by making the tough puffs that he summoned randomly intangible, making him actually kind of, I'd say more tedious than difficult to take out, but he's a, it at least exists. All right, that's the guy. And then there's no unique uh, difference for this guy. There's just... They gave him two defense, which is normally an acceptable boost to difficulty for Tootin Koopa, Chapter 2. That is not the acceptable level of, uh, di uh, not defense, difficulty in Chapter 7. That's a five-chapter difference. I have a fully upgraded Watt and a hammer that hits for seven. Two defense isn't going to stop me. Even if it was 17 defense, it wouldn't matter because Watt is too effective. Nerf Watt, in all honesty. Make him do four damage. Start him out at two, three, four, not two, three, 
or like three, four, five. I think it's actually two, like four, five or two, three, five. I just jumps up to five randomly. Like Watt needs a nerf. It's, there's a lot of things that you could make that would actually balance this a little bit better. I'm not going to be, you know, cheeky. All right, here's the final peach intermission. Uh, intermission. It's a cutscene. So that's so. That's uh. That's pretty much it for now. I did not expect this stream to have and develop, devolve, or develop, which is what I was going to say before. That also works. It was going to become me talking about the balance of the game. I feel it's a legitimate uh, conversation to be having, however. We're playing a specifically a fan-made mod that can be actively updated, too. It can change some things, make it a little bit difficult, more difficult in certain areas. I'll tell you right now, if the whole game was as difficult as early Chapter 1 and Chapter 3, it would not be fun at all. Oh, well, uh, maybe. Honestly, the game was a lot harder on that first playthrough that I've done before, but now that I've, like, fully cracked the code... Yeah. I know where it, it definitely could use some more polish. Because to be fair, on my first playthrough, I did actually figure out some of this stuff. Mario, or not Mario, I'm too busy reading his nonsense. Uh, I did learn that the Medicine Man and Hot Shroom combo with re Refun, is it Refresh? Don't remember what it's called. Is completely broken. And then the Mega Quake being crazy good is also the case. And I just always knew about Watt and Bo being like the best. A lining little bit of confetti. Get bapped. He just slammed him down. He just got bodied. Alright. That's the peach cutscene. And now we have, uh. This guy. Star Man. Successfully rescued all of us star spirits. We are in your debt. Now, all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. To bring back the Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and to save Princess Peach. My star energy goes up to seven. Or can I use up and away a new star spirit power? It can turn enemies into stars. It's the same as uh, all the other attacks that can make enemies flee the fight. You don't get any star points for it, but it's considered an instant kill. I think I have used up and away twice, ever. Uh, where is the thing to save? There's the thing to save. Oh, that's a heart box. That's not a place to save. It's down here. That's right. All right. That's it. That is chapter seven. And that leads us straight to chapter eight, the end of the game. Well, right there, everybody. We're very close, and I'm still feeling incredibly strong, despite not having been doing all the extra fluff. I could be abusing life shrooms more, I could be abusing medicine man and uh, hot shrooms more, but I'm not doing that, so I'm doing it for a little bit more of an interesting method. Now, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, you in particular, only one of you though, once you've laid claim to that, no one else gets it. Have a good rest of your day, have a good rest of your weekend, and peace.